Well, hello and welcome back in everybody. This is episode five on our journey from farming to building a Dunkin' Donuts, I guess. <laughs> so last episode, I did mention something about the double rate. I'm trying to figure out this whole fertilizer thing. Maybe y'all answered that question already in the comments. That video has not came out yet. Still working on editing it. Editing it, 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 it. But I do have some time to do some playing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go on to episode five and play. So I'm about to find out for myself. Does this double application rate actually bump us up to 100%? Let's look at it right now. We're at fertilized 0%. And there was something about weeds. Weeds growing, okay. I did try to watch a couple of YouTube tutorials about how to take care of grassland care, but it seemed like most of them didn't actually talk much about after you harvest, I guess. That, that was kind of weird. At least the ones I watched was like that. We're on 192. I will save the course there if I actually get there. Let's see here. I have four head lens. It's not going to do that much, but it's all good. And we'll do first wave. Oh, nope. Not first waypoint yet. My bad. Almost ruined that. Let's open up that help menu there. Activate double application rate. That's the comma. Activate normal application rate. Well, obviously double's going to use more, I would think. But hopefully it does get us up to that 100%. It's only going to take one pass. And wow, that is really slow. Uh, yep, yep. Let's uh, get some uh, unreal speed on there. <laughs> Back up just a little bit, hit that nearest, and go. While that's going away there, let's go ahead and save this course real quick. That is 192. That's Rambo Hacker Gaming's field. I haven't named anybody's fields here yet. Just haven't got around to it, I guess. <laughs> let's see here. 192. What was this? Uh, slurry. That's what we're doing here. And let's take a quick peek, see if it's actually up to 100%. And wow, it actually is up to 100%. That is amazing. Oh, okay, wait, hold up. Well, I moved a second there. I guess it depends on which way I'm facing. <laughs> I guess it does depend on which way I'm facing. Interesting. I thought maybe it was going off of where I was standing, not where I was pointing my cursor. Either way, it is up to 100%. Looks like double application rate is what we're going to be doing with slurry. May have to end up getting a different slurry spreader of some sort. And yeah, I totally just got hit with all that. I'm going to have to fire that driver. While that's going, we got some other big plans here. I want to make some sugar and get one step closer. I mean, every video is one step closer to that Dunkin' Donuts. And making sugar, I believe, is in the right direction. Let's go ahead and see what we got over here as far as crops. And we have coffee beans. Don't need that for anything quite yet. But I am looking for, what is it? Sugar beet. We only have 682 liters. Not enough yet. I mean, I guess it is. I could check out half a pallet or a partial pallet and take it over there. We'll wait till that gets over a thousand, but we're actually about to be done with this month once this slurry fill gets done. So let me finish this up and then I'll see y'all bright and early the next day. It is now 8 a.m. here in Ireland, and we have negative $3,234. Wow. So I think I ended the night with $3,000 positive. Now we're in the negative, so about $6,000 loss. That's not good. Anyways, let's see if we can get out of that negative. Because we definitely, definitely need to. One thing I did notice, actually, before we start looking at getting out of that negative, there was an update to this map, so this pin over here actually started taking more straw. I was able to get those three straw bales off, dumped off into there. We're all good to go. I believe all the fields are good. We'll go ahead and check that too, because I don't know if this grass is going to grow, but it's looking like it's growing. There we go. Ready to harvest for stage two, three. We'll go ahead and check this other field over here that I think was not ready to harvest. Oh, hey, I guess I was right. Yeah, we're on 187 right here. So the grass is definitely a lot taller right now. And we got a yield bonus of 92% fertilized. Weeds are medium, though disappear kind of as we uh mowed i guess but this one's actually ready to mow we'll go ahead and start worker up on that and i did notice something that's causing kind of an issue which is driving fast but well, that's weird how that works but i guess uh taking the corners kind of fast was causing a little bit of an issue with turning obviously so i'm gonna kind of slow down that course play stuff don't know if i did the last episode talking about it now i kind of think i might have eh, oh well repeat myself now let's go ahead and hook this up get it on the field get it started up and go and we'll see how long it takes maybe i'll leave it on the actual time frame that it takes because we got some other work to do we got some money to make possibly get in some contracts not sure and oh my gosh i just realized i can't hire a worker 
well, that means I guess I am gonna need to uh, make some money real quick. Looking into my stock time and save check mod, whatever. What did I just say? Time saving stock check mod. Looking at what's got good value. I guess water does, but we don't really have much of that. And I don't sell off water because that's something free. Let's see what else we got here. We got slurry up there. That's interesting. It's actually above best sell time. Ooh, coffee beans. Mmm. I was not sure how much these were worth, but it looks like they're worth some pretty good money. Let's go ahead and get a load of coffee beans sold off. Now, I don't have any auto load trailers, so uh, we'll have to pick this up manually, which is fine, I guess. And I believe this tractor here is the one that has the front loader attachment. Now that I think about it more, I don't have pallet forks. Ooh, man. Okay, okay, change of plans. Might have to start selling some stuff off. Just so I could buy those pallet forks so I could sell off those coffee beans. And that's really something easy to do because I got a lot of stuff that I consider kind of useless. That would be probably that plow back there. Don't think I'm going to use it. I got that liquid fertilized sprayer back there behind that tractor. I don't think I'll ever use. And then I also got this cedar right. You know, nope, that's a building. Also got this cedar right there that I'm never going to use. That's not cedar, but fertilizer. I'm never going to use it either. And it's full of fertilizer, solid fertilizer, which is worth some money too. Looks like that is probably what we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and... Gosh, these cows are loud. <laughs> Let's go ahead and park this real quick. We'll start selling a few items off to try to get over that $3,000 and get us some pallet forks purchased. Well, you know what? Hey, I'll use this tractor to run everything into town. That's a pretty good idea. Kind of. No, that's not a good idea because it doesn't have a front attachment. As far as front attachment, I mean able to attach two things to it. Because what I'm going to do real quick is just turn this off, leave it here. Let's head over to our other tractor right here. We'll go ahead and hook up to this uh, fertilized sprayer back here. Might need it for weeds, but I think I'm actually going to use a weeder. <laughs> for the first time since probably I purchased this game, I actually looked into the help menu <laughs> on the whatever main menu here. Not main main menu, but... This right here, I was actually reading through this help menu stuff, trying to figure out more information about the grass because uh, YouTube didn't really help out. I mean, I didn't look too in-depth on YouTube. I'm sure I could have found something else out there. Uh, but I also need to unload what's in this. Let's see here, I believe that's just Y to unload. Nope, oh, Y didn't work. What is it? Unload sprayer, uh, sprayer X. That's weird. No, that's unfold. Ooh, no, wrong thing. I'm not even selected on that one. Let's go ahead and drop that real quick. And I want to uh, unload this. What is it? Why? No, maybe I. It is I. There we go. I'll move those big bags a little bit later. Right now, we're just going to head this stuff into town. Get it sold. I ain't going to sell off that uh, solid fertilizer. At least I don't think I can sell it off in town. I should probably check that. Nah, it's all good. Let's just take this into town. Get it sold. See how much money we make. Pulling in now, and I was thinking about it more. Should I sell off this tractor? I mean, I probably shouldn't, but it's just so broken down. 490 hours on it. I mean, in real life, that's not much, I don't think. But on this game, the maintenance will just keep dropping and dropping, even if I do try to keep it repaired. What is the repair cost on it right now? 8900 So I'd have to do that like every single month. It would drop down. The condition would. Maybe sell it. I mean, it's only worth $3,200. Not going to worry about that right now because, whoa, looks like these two are going to get us out of that negative. Okay, did not see that coming, so we'll keep the tractor for now. Change of plans. It's an extra tractor. It's a cheap tractor, too. Sell both those off right there. And there we go. This tractor's only worth $3,200. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it's a cheap one. We made $17,318 off those sold vehicles. Now we'll head back to the farm and go ahead and hire a worker, too. I am going to go sell off those coffee beans, most likely. They are up there in value right now. I think that's what it showed. Might as well sell them off now. But let's get that worker started up first, and I'll probably actually do that before I even get back over there. You know what? I should do that. Let's tab over, wherever that's at. There we go. Finally found it. Got some manure in there. You know that's one thing I ain't liking. I may look at Bixen or try to fix, but this pin right here has manure in it, 9,800 liters right now. And there's a manure heap over here. I don't understand why it's not coming over here. Usually they come over here automatically, I thought. 
So maybe if I delete that one and put in a base game one, if that's not already a base game one, it should come over there automatically. Possibly. <laughs> I'm not sure. That is definitely something I'll have to figure out. Maybe I just need to move it manually, which is what I plan on doing right now after I got this worker set up. Because this worker's going to be going for a while. I got to make some more money. Got to take care of stuff around the farm. All kinds of different things. Basically anything to avoid me from having to do the physical work myself, right? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, somebody did tell me it works out pretty good. Uh, this was on a different series, actually a different channel. Someone told me on one of my videos there that doing the round, not rounded, um, doing the actual corners, not smooth, round, sharp, sharp corners is good for helping keep stuff on the field, but it does take a little bit longer. And I thought I tested it before where it did take just a ridiculous amount of time and well I, I didn't make that let's go four headlands generate clockwise i think we're good anyways like i was saying i think i did test it one time and it just took way too long for me to do sharp i didn't want to mess with it so i'm not going to worry about that right now we'll put this on first waypoint and okay i guess you're gonna turn around a little bit there oh interesting Sounds like they're actually starting up, but nothing was cutting. Uh, we'll raise tool late. We'll lower tool early. We will actually keep the turn in at five miles an hour, but crank up to field work speed. That way their up downs are really fast. I think that's safe to do. And then the field work, uh, well, not field work, but the field, from what I understand, is that is how fast they'll drive on the field. Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, you know what? Actually, I said it right there. <laughs> it did say right there, maximum speed while driving on field. Okay. And then the other one was working the field. But I did not actually change the speed to Unreal, so it's still going pretty slow. Probably should change that. I'm waiting until it gets around the corner, and then I'll change that so I'll pick up the speed a little bit. Pick up the pace. Even though I'm pretty sure it's going to take me longer than 13 minutes to uh, take care of all this work around the farm. We'll go ahead and put that on nearest. Switch over to Unreal speed, or real speed. It's not Unreal, I guess. I mean, it's not called Unreal speed mod. It's called real speed. <laughs> okay, let's head back to the farm real quick. Got plenty of work to do there. I'll see y'all there. So first up here, we're just going to go ahead and clean out all the manure here. And it, does that pull straight through? Hey, look at that. I may do that. Glad these cows don't run out. That would be a fun little mod. I'm telling you, there's so many times we've had to chase cows. <laughs> so many times. It's not fun. Let's see here. This is manure forks, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. This might actually be the first time I'm ever using manure forks. Not gonna lie. I mean, y'all that may have been watching me for a while, you know I don't do much manually. I do a lot of stuff automatically. And I would have totally just took that barn out. Nah, I'm just kidding, I don't think I would have. I'm hoping I can pack it in over here. I don't know. I really don't think that's gonna work, but it's gonna get it out of the way for now. You know what? I'm not liking it. Let's, uh, let's, let's figure something out here. First thing to figure out is pick all this up. I just don't know why this silo is not working in conjunction with the, um, what is a barn, I guess. Animal pen. Wow, that's not picking it all up. Okay, I guess you can't get it all. Interesting. So you can learn something new, I guess. Or maybe I'm just not good at this game and totally messed up there. Let's go into build menu here. We got a little bit of money waste. Why not do it? Let's get rid of this manure heap. Sell that off. And I guess it sold the product with it, maybe? Kind of what it's looking like. We'll uh, go ahead and put in another manure heap or silo extension, possibly. Let's see here. Uh, manure heap extension. Not enough money. Ooh, $25,000. I did not expect these to cost this much. Let's see here. This is the same one, Bali Spring mod. Guess it's just not working. Silo to store manure. Here's another one that's quite a bit bigger. Let's find one that's not from Bali Spring, I guess. Possibly. <laughs> if I could find one. Self made cow shed mod. I like this. I mean, this is actually a lot smaller. Wow, this is really, really small. But it holds the same amount as that Bali one. Let's get this, uh, 1320. That's a nice price, 1320. 
I think I'll even put it right here and make a little drive through behind it. Okay, slap that in. Looks like the texture here changed and updated with what was already there. Pretty interesting. Let's go into landscape and find out what that is. Probably some sort of concrete. Yep. Well, it's looking like concrete. We'll go ahead and slap some concrete in here. Probably even make something nice here. Or just a nice little parking area for some of my stuff. Not sure, but this is what I was really interested in right here. A nice little drive through around and everything. That's cool. At least I think it's cool. Now, from what I understand, I think, I don't know, maybe the cow pen's messed up, but the manure should just start coming over here automatically. I thought it did. Either way, I'm going to start dumping it in there manually like that. Maybe that's what I'm going to end up having to do over and over again. I guess it doesn't actually matter if I empty it out or not. So I could just leave it, but I don't want to leave it for right now. I will keep working away at this, running over these cows, getting this all cleaned up, and then I'll see y'all whenever something comes up. Looks like that mower didn't take very long. It's all done, finished work. We still got quite a bit to pick up here. I say quite a bit. I mean, it looks like I'm getting a thousand liters each scoop. So I think we were under 10,000 liters of manure. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and see how well this did or how bad it did. And yeah, it looks like that corner kind of made it wide right there. You kind of see on that corner, still getting a little wide, even though it shouldn't have been going that fast. And maybe I should have just left it at its base speed without activating that real speed mod. Either way, it's done. It's done good enough, I'd say. We're going to go ahead and take this off the field. I got the other tractor hooked up to the wind rower right now. It's actually right there in the distance a little bit. You can probably see it. And then after the wind rowing, of course, is the belling. I'll use this nice big old tractor here for the belling. I just thought I'd give some love to that old Massey we got on the farm here. That's all beat up. I mean, don't get confused. I think it's all of them that's all beat up. Besides my new one I bought. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start this up. Yeah, that's a little weird. It kind of shifts over to the side there. Yeah. Interesting. Got the last load of manure here on the forks right now. Let's go ahead and close up the gates here. And, you know, hopefully this works, but let's see here. Three liters of manure. Now, if that three liters of manure goes up, that tells me it's not going in the silo over here. Or, you know what? Maybe it does. I thought I closed this. I guess I didn't. How do I close this? Come on. I ain't closing. There it goes. Got it. Let's check out, see how much is actually in this silo over here also. I'll say silo, but manure heap, whatever you want to call it. This has 9,795. Maybe a silo extension is what I need, not an actual silo. That's a good possibility, and if this does fail, I'll give that a try. But it's working for right now until I got a whole bunch of cows I got to take care of as far as uh, emptying out the manure. Let's go ahead and get this stuff unattached, put up, put away, and wow, it's actually really clean. Surprised it didn't get that dirty. Also interested in see if... Oh, man, just hit that. <laughs> Anyways, also interested to see if I got anything coming up on planting time. Uh, possibly wheat, barley, something along those lines for those chickens. I don't need them towards my goal as far as Dunkin' Donuts goal. So I might not even do it. I don't see any reason for a waste of my time getting, getting, making, planting all this work for something I don't need towards this big goal of opening a Dunkin' Donuts here in Ireland. We'll see what happens, though. And I'm also interested to see if this stuff is actually fertilized. Not fertilized. What's it called? Uh, gosh, I can't think of the name right now. Well, I'm interested to see if it's actually turned into silage yet. For a minute. For a minute. There we go. I think I'm correct there. Let's see here. We're at 46%, so I believe it's like two months or something like that. Don't quote me. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. What is this? Is this a manure fork thing too? No, it's a silage cutter. Oh, okay. Well, I'm kind of glad that's not a requirement. Some maps do have that requirement where you need to cut up your food before you give it to the cows. I'm kind of glad I don't have to do that. That's just an extra step. What was I looking for? After... Oh, okay, I know. After wind rowing, we gotta grab the beller and bell. 
So we'll go ahead and actually get this on the field. This can go at any time. It could have been following that wind rower worker because it's going to run off the same exact course as that wind row is. One of these days I'll learn how to drive. I'm telling you, I've hit so many of these buildings. I keep getting stuck on stuff too. Come on, you've got to be kidding me. You know, this is the exact reason why a lot of people don't play these maps, just how tight fitting it is. But I mean, I like it. It's kind of fun. It's funny too, running into stuff. Whenever I was clearing out that manure heap, or clearing out the manure there, putting it into the manure heap, I ran into a building every single time I backed out of that cow barn. Every single time I hit a building. Okay, so looks like that wind rower is actually almost done. We'll just go ahead and load up that course. Oops, wrong thing. Let's see here. Uh, wind rower on 196. Nope, this ain't field 196. Speaking of that, I need to save the course. This is field 187. Let's go ahead and save the current course as mowing because that's what it was last time. Never saved it. And we will clear, load, wind rowing. Let's start this up. First waypoint and go in. I mean, it's not wind rowing, it's bellowing. Either way, it, it knows what it's doing, I think. It's definitely going to miss some here and there, I think. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Now, next up, we need to take care of some weeds. I mean, I want to get to that sugar. Definitely going to get to that sugar soon, but we got some weed issues we need to take care of. And they're currently small weeds. Maybe I can get away with just using, uh, I don't know, a weeder? I guess there's a weeder and a hoe. I think weed or, or the weeder or whatever works for small weeds. Oh, do need to detach both of them. Actually, I do need to detach both of them because I'm going to get pallet forks pretty soon. I'm telling you, I'm going to get to that sugar eventually. Come on, detach it. Oh, wait, I'm on the tractor. I selected on the wrong thing. My bad. Guess I could have left that on there. Now, let's go out to an open field somewhere, get our stuff delivered to us because I don't want to drive all the way to town. Guess I could because I could sell off some of the stuff like that cedar inside there. Yeah, I could definitely sell that off. But blocked by an object. What are you blocked by already? Come on. Oh, you ran right into that, huh? We'll stop you for a sec. That's exactly why I wanted to try to stay away from the wall there and slow down some. Speaking of slowing it down some, hey, I got the speed limit down to five. Maybe the field work speed is just way too high and it's taking too long to slow down for that turn. That's a good possibility, I think. And start that up right there, and then we'll finish it up with the nearest waypoint, I think. Yep, there we go. No offset on it. Okay, good. And it is back to going. Let's see if it has any other issues. Back over here, this Massey, and we're going to go ahead and drop in that shop delivery right there. And look at getting a weeder of some sort. I haven't done this much. Actually, I've only done it one other time, and that was whenever I was playing on my 0 to 100 million on my other channel. And it turned out not working out great because I had precision farming. And I guess weeding stuff doesn't work out good with precision farming. Where is weeders at? That be under something else, possibly? I don't know. Either way, let's go through the sell items first <laughs> and see if I can find something in here. Got a nice case plow. Don't need that. And this is not a weeder. I think it's something for slurry. At least I think it is. Let's see here. Hmm, it's not telling me. But all those hoses there, I got a good feeling it's for slurry. Blocked by an object again? You've got to be kidding me, man. What? It was on the corner. Interesting. Yeah, definitely an issue with the corners. But that should be the last issue I have with the corners, knock on wood. Okay, where were we? We were over here trying to figure out this whole weeding thing. Now, I can see the weeds actually popping in right over here. Some weeds. What is this going to say? Small? Yeah, that's exactly what we're trying to get rid of. Don't want to use herbicide because it's kind of a waste unless you got precision farming. Because it just keeps spraying and spraying. I don't believe it has a spot spraying. Let's see here. Weeders right there. Hey. Guess I could have figured that out a lot easier. And I don't have any mods, I don't think. Hey, I got a case one. That ain't bad. I mean, Massey Ferguson's kind of what we're going with as far as theme-wise. But, uh... Got a case one in here. $25,000. That is very bad. <laughs> weeders pull out small grown weeds between crops. Uh, I guess there's this one. It's the only one I can afford. And we're going to go ahead and buy it. 60 horsepower requirements. 6 meters wide. $9,500. We will buy that. At least it sticks with a red color like Massey. Down to $3,200. Eh, 
and that's dropping. Every minute, every second actually, it's dropping. Now I'm gonna give this a little test run, see if this actually works. I mean, we already know where some weeds are, like this little patch right here. I wanna see if it works before I hire a worker to go all the way around the fields doing it. And I kinda wanna see if it affects any of the field, I guess. Uh, we're at two of three, 88% yield bonus. Let's see what happens after I hit it. And I'm actually kind of worried because it just did something to the field there. No way. I got to do this before. Ah, uh, growth stage went back to one of three. But I think the yield bonus went up. Hmm. I think I can live with it, maybe. Come on, really? I mean, extra 10%. Yield bonus, is it worth it? I'm trying to think, let's see here. This is two of three, next month's three of three, August, September, October, and then harvest time will be November. That'd be my last harvest too. I better not do this. Nope, not gonna do it. At least not on this field. Oh gosh, it's still going. <laughs> I guess I should lift it before. I'm not gonna do it on this field, but I'll do it on this other field. We just, what, harvest it? because it should work there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the weeder here, I guess. Why not? And somebody is finished with work. There you go, all done with your wind rowing. Great job, you did an amazing job. I will not give you a raise. Wait, where are, you, where are we at? Okay, we're at the end of the field here. Hey, nice big old double gates right there, I guess. I could get a big chrome mower to come through here, possibly. Now, I believe it's time we go ahead and get into making that actual sugar. And I'm going to need some pallet forks for that. I don't need that. I can set it up on distribute and it will go over there automatically. But there's a little distributing fee cost. I uh, don't know if I lose any product. I don't think I do. I think there's just a distribution fee. And I don't have much to move right now. So let's go ahead and get the pallet forks and move in. That is one of the rules I always use for auto load is that I have to have the pallet forks or the means to auto load before I could use auto load trailer. And I feel like I went way too far here. I think I did. Let's see, I'm looking at the mini map right now, trying to figure out where that spot is. There we go, I think we're good. Let's find those pallet forks. Check sales items, nothing on sale, I don't think. I don't think I've ever seen pallet forks in here. And they'll be under here somewhere. Uh, front loader tools, yes, that sounds about right. And then we'll just go with these pallet forks. Possibly, yeah, I don't see any issue with trying to get any fancy ones from this CSZ mod pack. Yeah, I had to slow down there. I can't say that fast. I don't think I can, at least. $1,700, we'll buy that. Ooh, those are expensive, though. Hitting the delivery cost of $43? I should have just drove out of there. $43. Now, let's get over to our greenhouse, start checking all that stuff out, and move the pallets over to the next production. You know, I never actually planned on picking up these pallets manually, but it's kind of looking like I'm going to need to or have to with the low funds. So I'm trying to figure out where to put this trailer, and I'm thinking right here might be good. I'm talking about for the coffee beans. That's what this trailer's going to be used for. And I didn't need to sell it to coffee beans after I made all that money, but now we're back down to $1,000, so I definitely need to. I think right there would be a good little spot. We'll drop the trailer. The coffee beans should come out right there on the back side. I should be able to pick them up pretty easily. Drop them onto the trailer and get that stuff delivered. And uh, we'll worry about that whenever I get there. But right now we're going to jump over here. Let's see here. Oh, that opens. That's cool. I like that. We'll go ahead and come into here. Well, actually, I don't need to come into there. I can just come in through here. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of sugar beets. Did not see that coming. 14 pallets. Let's check all those out. Okay. That is pretty nice. Unfortunately, I feel like that door might actually mess up some of it spawning and this is not even close to 14 what is that six seven pallets okay that's half i'm gonna go ahead and fire up the production over here also that way once they start coming over here well actually you know what they'll go in there automatically anyways let's find out what this blocked object is it's possibly a bell it is and i'll just super strength this out of the way it's gonna happen quite a bit probably okay back over here Let's see if I can do this. It's been a minute. I think I left myself enough room. Oh, no. Maybe I didn't. Oh, gosh. I just hit that fence. Oh, what am I hitting? Okay, I was stuck on something for a second there. Might look into getting a skid steer. <laughs> I mean, by the time I get the money for the skid steer, I don't think I'll be having to do this manually. 
but this is definitely a train wreck. Oh, wait, what? Wow, I went underneath it. But it's working, I think. Yeah, definitely working. Should probably try to do two of them. Uh, nope, we're going to start with one. Maybe I will get that trailer over here, load him up on the trailer real quick. Uh, back up, back up, blocked by another object. you got to be kidding me. I definitely have that on there. Amazingly. <laughs> now, uh, to be honest with y'all, I am actually forklift certified. <laughs> it may not show it on this game, but I do spend a lot of time driving a forklift and operating cranes and other heavy machinery stuff. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it's not looking good on the game. Let's put it that way. Let's fix this blocked object real quick before we head over to starting up that project or production, not project. There we go. And wow, you're definitely going to run into more stuff, probably. Let's see here. I'm just going to run around real quick, see if I can find the ones you're going to run into. And oh, gosh. Oopsie. I mean, do that. Kind of. And you'll run into this. I know you will. And you'll run into possibly this let's just go ahead and get it out of the way what else we got here we got this and i think you're good won't run on anything else but hey here we go i just noticed something down here whoa what was that what is that noise y'all hear that i'll even turn it up for y'all hold on i might do it again Is it the sound from that? No. That was weird. Anyways, it says uh, weeds growing down there. I think we'll be able to take that weed growing state out with a weeder. That's the whole idea there. Okay, get off that running fast thing. Getting tired of it somewhat. Back over here. Let's go ahead and start up this production. Open it up. Saving, saving, saving. That's good. I like it. I like you to save. Oh, wow. This caught that billion liters of water, too. Don't know if I need it or not, <laughs> but we got some sugar beets in there right now, right? Yep, 1,000 liters. We're going to go ahead and make some sugar beet sugar. Start activating that. It holds 100. Oh, wait. Nope, my bad. It holds 1 million liters. Wow. That's nice. Let's let that go. Let's see how much sugar we can actually make. But it's going to take me a second. Let me get all these pallets over there. I mean, this is not the best, but if it works, it works. As soon as it gave me that option down on the bottom saying there's a thousand liters of sugar beets on here, I just lift it. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to waste my time with it. I'm just going to grab it and go. <laughs> you know, this might actually work pretty good coming from this direction, possibly, if I can get in there. I did close the forks up a little bit. Let's see here. Come on. You know, I just don't know how people do this in first person view. I mean, you just can't see anything. You can't see your forks, nothing like that. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of things I pick up. I can't see the forks. So, I mean, I understand in real life, but I mean, I guess on this game, it just takes practice. It just takes practice. And I don't think I'm going to be able to stack these. I'm trying to stack them, but I'm just way too close to this fence. Come on. I wish I had a side shift on here. That would be really cool. There we go. Got it stacked up there. That is pretty nice. But no, a side shift, that would be pretty sweet. I don't know if any actual forklifts on this game have that option i've never really seen it come on there you go get in there got two of them only saying i got a thousand liters but i got two of them and the main thing i was worried about is whether those back tires would come off the ground or not and they are not and ooh, that top pallet is sliding around a little bit there i may have to take this a little slow yeah take it slow take it slow you know, one other thing I never checked is how much do these actually weigh? I might be able to pick them up. I mean, I doubt it. This should be a lot of weight, but I mean, it is a video game. There are mess ups like that sometimes. No way. This is actually really cool. So on this game, the way it's set up for if you have, I believe it's a certain mod, though. I mean, I don't know. I think base game, you still pick 200 kilograms up, but that's the way it's set up. You can pick up 200 kilograms and it's at 190. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting rid of this forklift. Or my bad tractor. I will use the trailer, though. I'm going to go ahead and slap them all on the trailer. And then bring them all over at once. Because, like I said, that was only half of them there. And got another seven in there. Hopefully. I don't know if it's going to happen. But hopefully the coffee beans are like that, too. I mean, it's not that bad actually picking it up, driving it over. Kind of fun, right? I mean, I'm having fun with that. I was actually having a lot of fun emptying out that cow... 
barn or whatever. Cow barn, cow pen. I don't know what to call it. I feel like I'm calling it the wrong thing. But yeah, no, this actually works. I will take that. Might even be able to uh, just use one of my fill trailers and just dump all this into one of the fill trailers by hand and move it that way. But we'll just do it this way for now. Let me get this all loaded up over there. It's going to be a lot faster, a lot easier now. Thankfully. Ooh. You know, I thought about it a little bit more as I was loading these up. Maybe I could have just brought one of those fill type trailers, like crop trailers, uh, grain trailers over here and just hit the refill button. Like yeah, I can do with that. What is this? Solid fertilizer? Yeah, I got some solid fertilizer and big bags just sitting on the ground. But if I pulled the equipment over there and man, I about destroyed my greenhouse. Guess it really wouldn't do anything. But if I pull the equipment over there and just hit refill, it will refill right off the ground. So maybe that's a something to try out next time around. Now, I don't think that's going to work with their coffee beans at all because that is a specialized product. But sugar beets might work. Now, how do I get it all to fit in there? I might have to actually take them off one by one because looking like the front ones might not reach that point. Oh, man, I didn't make like a nice, easy drive through of some sort. Oh, well, it's getting quite a bit of it. Well, it was getting some off the front, but I guess it stopped. Oh, better raise up those forks. Just took out that fence. Now all I got to worry about doing is taking out a car. Nah, I won't reach that far. Got all the sugar beets over here now, and I may actually look into setting it up to distribute automatically and just kind of pay that little cost. I think that cost goes off of how far of a distance it has to go, so it shouldn't be much. Uh, either way, that's up and running. We are now making sugar. There are six liters of sugar in here. That's pretty cool. Pretty nice. 1,200 cycles per month. So that's going to use 2,400 liters per month. Wait, no. Yeah. Two times 1,200, 2,400 liters per month. Yes. And it's going to make 1,200 liters of sugar each month. That's not much at all. I may have to find some other production out there. Something a little bit faster. Eh, we'll see. But we definitely made that sugar. That's for sure. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look into these greenhouses here and start spawning out the... What is it? Uh, coffee beans? You know, let's not worry about spawning, spawning them out. We'll set it up on spawning automatically, so I ain't got to go in there and check them out manually. Where are you? You're right here. So they're set on storing right now. We'll set that on spawning. Set that on spawning also. They'll come out the back here in a second. I'm going to see how much I weigh first before I waste my time picking them up with the tractor. And wow, there are only 75 kilograms. Oh, man. I love this stuff. I don't remember this stuff being this light, but hey, that's how it's going to work. So I'm going to load all these up and uh, get them to the market and get them sold because I believe they're on best sell price right now. You can see that's somewhere in here. Time saving stock check mod, coffee beans. March is best sell time, but for some reason, they're currently above the max value. And I'll take it over at the Bali Spring Inn. That's kind of interesting that a map mod or whatever the mod or the sell point, that's what I'm trying to say, the sell point for the map actually is able to sell this product because this is not a normal base game product. So that's kind of interesting. Well, let's get them all loaded up, get them all sold so we can get way more than that $1,000 in our bank account. Yo, that is actually really cool. Saw this little box thing here and I was like, what is that? So it came over here, helped me and you turned it on. It says turn grow lights on. That is really cool looking. Let's go ahead and do that right here too. I don't know, I just think it's pretty cool. Something a little different than I've normally seen out there. I mean, I don't get up close and personal to those that much. So, hey, maybe that's a base game thing. I just never noticed. We got 10,000 liters of coffee beans on here. We also got a finished worker there. That should be the silage belling. And man, I really should reset that. See how much silage bells we got off there. But it currently says nothing. I guess I took the mod out that has the bell counter on it. Oh, what happened to that? There was a bell counter on there. I have been trying to take out mods I don't use here and there. And maybe one of them I took out is missing that. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of bells though. Wow. What size do I got them on? 150? Can I change that? Oh wait, I gotta turn this on. It says we're up to 131 bells right now. Okay, 150 is the biggest. Ooh, man. I wonder what I was at before. That is a lot of bells across the field here. 
Might be able to tell though as I go through and pick him up with the trailer and might need to get a bigger trailer. But also got a lot of grass to pick up and I'll worry about that later. I'm really interested in getting some money in our bank account and that's gonna involve selling this coffee beans. So let's see here, this needs to go over to somewhere. Not sure where, we'll come back in here and we'll tag this place, Bali Spring Inn, tag place, and we'll check the map because I don't know where that's at either way. Bali Spring Inn, where are you at? Oh, hey, you're all the way over there in town. That's not bad. Guess it would be a good thing if I could attach something to the front and sell it off whenever I'm there, but I ain't gonna worry about that. I'll see y'all over there and we'll see how much money we make off this. We are now down to $1,000 and what is that little trigger point thing right there? What is that? Open wardrobe, what? I guess a clothing store? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Didn't see that coming. But anyways, we're down to $1,000 now and oh my gosh, that thing was pulling out of there. I actually almost hit somebody at that last intersection. They pulled out right in front of me. Didn't make that corner very sharp. They, well, I don't know, they ended up in front of me. Either way. We're over here now, about to sell this off, and like I was trying to say, down to a thousand, that's because we ended up paying wage payments of quite a bit of money. There was a lot that came out there, and oh wow, that's selling off really fast. Glad I brought y'all back this fast, but $18,338. Woo, that is pretty nice, and no environmental score reward. Kind of missing that, but uh, it's also kind of fun playing and a little different. I usually play with that uh, precision farming, and that's where that environmental score reward comes from, and wow, y'all just ran right through each other right there. What a great game, what a great game. You know what, I'm gonna get real with y'all for a little bit here. You know one thing that's kinda hard for a lot of these content creators out there to do, not just me, I know other people do it, that is finish actual series. I mean, you start these series uh, zero to 100 million, zero to 10 million, and they just don't go anywhere. There's multiple reasons why life gets in the way, stuff like that. And I understand a lot of people viewing this content, they don't like that. So here's what I'm gonna do for y'all. I'm going to go ahead and recommend a series that I've actually completed from episode one all the way to the end of that series idea, whatever was working there, because that is actually the end of this episode. If y'all want to watch the complete season of Saving Frontier, you can check that out here at the end of the video. I just really want to thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching, and until next time, y'all take care.